Hello friends, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel on Advanced Excel. Today we are going to see how how we can automate uh, invoice numbering. Okay, let it be invoice numbering or a debit note or a credit note, anything. How you can automate this thing? Usually, what people or what uh, most of you must be doing is uh, say when you have to go, uh, you have to give invoice number to this particular invoice. Uh, this is how we do usually A B C D L L P dash now my invoice number is my sheet number okay so i will say 100 then again forward slash 2018 and 19 okay now when you want to move to the next invoice that is 101 what we usually do is we right click more copy we say create copy before sheet 2 okay and then we manually change this invoice number from 100 to 101 okay but there could uh, we could very well end up in uh, some errors while uh, uh, you know like uh, numbering this invoices manually so to get rid of that this uh, we are having this uh, video where you can now automate invoice number without any manual intervention so let me just first delete this uh, particular sheet okay we'll stick to this hundred now friends to assist this uh, uh, challenge we are going to use four functions in excel usually we don't use this uh, functions uh, much often but in this challenge these four functions are going to be of a immense uh, immense use so first function we are going to use is cell is equal to c e l l space now this is what this uh, cell function does it returns the information about the formatting location contents of first cell according to the sheets reading order right so we'll say cell and here I want file number, uh, file name. So into inverted comma because it's a text. Finally, name inverted comma complete. Parenthesis complete. Control enter. So this is my file name. So what we are having is a path of the file, then the name of the file, and the uh, name of the current sheet which I am working. So right now the name of that current sheet which I am working is hundred. Basically this is my invoice number. Okay. So this is what the cell function has, has returned us. Second function we are going to use is search. Search. Find text. Now I want to find this opening parenthesis. And the reason is after the opening parenthesis whatever is uh, appearing is my invoice number. So into inverted comma I want to find uh, the position of this opening parenthesis. So I will say opening parenthesis. Close inverted comma within text this is my cell where the text is appearing which is in fact a result of cell formula and start number if you can see this start number is surrounded by this uh, vertical brackets so this condition is optional so i am going to leave this blank don't mention anything and control enter so this opening parenthesis in this uh, particular text string the position of this opening parenthesis is 68 now we are going to use replace rep tab old text is going to be this start number is going to be one the number of characters 68 so basically from right from position number one to position number 68 whatever text string is appearing we want to replace it by nothing so i'll just open parenthesis and close it it is called as a zero length text string and I'll complete parenthesis and control enter. Okay, so what this uh, function has produced as this, it has replaced all the things that are appearing between position number one and position number 68 and it has replaced it with nothing. Okay, so the result is 100 which is my invoice number and closing parenthesis. And the last function which all of you must be aware is left left tab this is my text and number of characters is 3 because uh, my invoice is right now it is 3 digits so I will say 3 and control enter 100 and now we can press delete and let me just uh, give the invoice uh, number as A B C D L L P sorry L L P inverted comma complete and I will prefix, uh, suffix it with uh, forward slash. So again, into inverted comma forward slash inverted comma complete. Again, and now I want this invoice number to appear after this uh, 
first forward slash so i'll click here again i'll say and again i'll give forward slash again i'll say and and again into inverted comma i'll say 2018 dash 19 inverted comma complete and control enter so this is my invoice number which is a combination of some text strings and the number which we have generated from all this exercise now let me show you the magic i'll right click it move copy create copy before sheet 2 and click ok the moment i click ok you must have seen this 100 has automatically become 101 isn't it so now i am working on invoice number 101 but still this invoice number 100 is appearing nothing to worry about just click here or press f2 and enter there you are so 100 has now become 101 did you see if you want to uh, move to invoice number 102 now let me show you the key keyboard shortcut for it it's called em for creating a sheet or uh, moving a sheet then i'll say alt c to create a copy before sheet alt b before sheet is sheet number 2 enter so it has become 102 now i'll just press f2 in this uh, particular cell and enter 102 Okay, friends. So with this uh, particular combination of uh, functions, you can automate your invoice number. But there is a, a hitch here. What if uh, your invoice number now runs into say four digits? What what if it becomes say one zero zero one? Okay. So let me change this to one zero zero one, and let me see whether uh, our formula is capturing it correctly or not. Now the invoice number has to be one zero zero one over here, right? enter I'll press F2 enter oh it's not there it is still showing 100 you know why because in this left that we have used we have hard coded this number of digits to be taken for the purpose of invoice number and because of this it is fetching say 1 2 3 from cell Z5 and returning only 100 rather than 1001 so We'll just uh, tweak this uh, particular last uh, function and we're going to tweak this with length. I'll say length tab length of uh, this uh, text string which is in Z5 and I'll say minus 1 and enter. Did you see? So now this 1001 has become is getting, uh, getting uh, reflected correctly as invoice number. Now let me move to next invoice which number which is 1002 again same create copy before sheet is uh, sheet 2 ok it, it will become 1002 in uh, edit mode enter 1002 now let, let us do once again once again make this invoice number as a 3 digit say uh, uh, 777 ok so alt m alt c alt b before sheet 2 ok let me just uh, change this i pressed uh, alt hr for renaming the sheet 777 enter and it is becoming 777 even though this invoice number is a 3 digit or the previous uh, invoice number which was a 4 digit now this left function is taking care irrespective of the length of the invoice because we have used length which takes the length of this particular test string which in this case is 4 and it reduces that length by 1 because for this uh, closing parenthesis and then it returns now let's see whether it, it is taking care of 5 digit invoice number or even a 6 digit sheet 2 and let's uh, let me make it as uh, 5 digits say 77800 enter yes was it is taking care of any number of invoice digits so whether your invoice uh, number is a one digit or a two digit or a three or any digit this uh, trick is going to take care of this automation of your invoice numbers so friends uh, i hope you must have liked this video if you have liked this video please give me a thumbs up also leave comment and uh, press the bell icon to get notifications of my upcoming video thanks a lot bye